Hey guys, so I'm in my bathroom. The backdrop, just like you guys get, you know, this and shit, whatever. My hair is a mess, I look a fool. So today, I'm gonna do something that I know is probably a bad idea. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a wig slay. So I've been seeing these online a lot and I decided on my own accord, which no one fucking asked for as usual. Um, I'm going to be trying to wrap my hair up and slay a lace front wig. So, if you want to see a hot mess, keep on watching. So, I've tried this a few times. I tried the this method where you glue a stocking cap down. I might do that one, but honestly, I thought it looked really fake. It protected my edges, but it looked really fake when you went close up, so. I don't think I'm gonna do that one. So today's hair is brought to you by um, West Kiss. I'm not sponsored, I bought this myself, but I colored it myself too. And the color I used was, I'll show you. Uh, I'm trying Doiko color. This is in color sky. So I did the watercolor method in Joyco Sky. And this is what she looks like. I got like my soggy nuts in there. So I put her back in her little bag. She comes with like a little bag, little net. I came with a cute little hat too. I had like a like a little, it's like a little witch hat. It was funny that like, they knew I was witchy. Like, I think they low key spied on me. Cause you're like, oh, this is a witchy bitch. Let's give her this one. And I look like Sabrina cause this was like platinum. Um, guys, look at this job I did with this. Look, I'm talented. I'm gonna go and say the things I don't like about this wig because I have some feelings that I wanna share. I don't like the hair distribution. Like if you notice back here, you can see like, ah, oh, there it is. See like these lines, you can see that sometimes periodically, but up front, she's thick. Like up here, she's really, really, really thick. and. That kind of bothers me sometimes because, you know, you don't want it to be thick. Like, I would rather it be thick right here so shit like this doesn't happen, see? Then it be thick and we always have to worry about, like, you know, are my tracks showing? I would rather that than, like, you know, it be thick in, like, a different place. But I guess, like, and I didn't even get, like, the lowest density. I got, like, medium. And it did that, and I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously. So I'm just gonna be brushing out my hair. You know, I already brushed out my hair, and my hair just like went back to being that way. Like, you wouldn't have thought I brushed my hair like at least like 10 minutes ago before I started filming. And it already just looked all frizzy and crazy. And I don't even have like frizzy, crazy hair. So I'm just putting my hair back into like a ponytail and I'm just going to slick this back. Okay, so I'm just slicking it back. I always have to watch out like right here is really long on me. So I have to like pull that like physically backwards. Um, make sure my baby hairs are not doing anything too, too crazy. They're so long that like they'll actually do something crazy. Whatever we use and got to be to hold it all down. <laughs> Make sure this is working right. Maybe it's like has access product on it. I don't 
remember it locking. There we go. Ooh, it just like random shit in the way. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm so ghetto. It's like, I'm like, you're my iPhone, just like, you know, in my bathroom, no backdrop, no nothing. Just regular, shim regular. It's funny. I can't wait until, like, I actually have a budget for, like, production or, you know, things of that nature. This is part of the reasons why sometimes I didn't want to film was because, like, I don't really have much to work with, so... I always felt like it was sort of like a downward sort of slope for me. But I'm working through that. Here's my hair tie. So I'm just gonna hold this up in a hair tie for like a little bit while at least, I don't know, I feel like I have to sort of like train my hair to like stay slick back. Cause my hair is still fairly like clean. So I have to sort of just train my hair to stay in place. So I'm just gonna kind of work on that. So. Stalking cat method. Hey, yay. Hey. Because if, see if I put this like right on my hair. Okay, so this is already trimmed because I've worn this before. So she's already trimmed, but she's not quite like completely plucked. I'm a little bit afraid to pluck her because I don't know where to pluck. So I need help plucking. <laughs> I really do. So this is what she looks like. You can see the lace. The lace is here. But it's pretty close up. Another thing about this hair that I feel is like she kind of looks sort of dopey, dry. Like very poofy and very kind of dopey. That explains it. My hair is still here. So I'm gonna just wet her down slightly. Cause she doesn't look very good dry. That's just always been my preference with this one. Like she doesn't get like the right texture she needs. It's kind of like a thing. So. I'm really into wigs. I want to get more wigs. Like I really, really, really do. They're so fun and pretty, especially because with my hair, like I don't want to dye or bleach it or make it like very damaged. So I like to keep the integrity of my hair. When I was younger, I damaged my hair really bad by like bleaching it. And I've kind of grown and healed since from that. And I just, I really respect my hair. I don't want to do anything bad to it. So I like wigs because they can make my hair different colors. And I know myself, I know that I get bored of a color like after like one day. So it's not like very appropriate for me to like want to do the hair color for well, like more than a day or so. It's not really my cup of tea. I still didn't cut this. Like, I have to figure out what to do here. I didn't cut this at all yet. It's still there. So what I kind of do is I just like start styling her on top of me. That way I at least know how I want to shape it. And I at least can start anticipating like different waves and different little things here and there and I'm just trying to I have a big mirror too. So I'm gonna start like I like go in with this thing too and just start deciding like okay where am I gonna place her? You know 
I really wish I had a hot comb. Like I really, really do right now. See that? It's like just pure bumpy. So I have to know like what parts I have to just kind of wet down and what parts I have to just sort of keep. A lot of this is like taming the hair, which is like, there's no taming shit like this, but whatever. It's like she doesn't quite have like a perm on her, but she does definitely have like a wee bit of like maybe a body wave. It's kind of hard to describe. Let me get my little spray bottle and start spraying her. And then I have to put on makeup. Putting on makeup with a wig on is so hard. Like, because I'm used to my hair being like really flat. And then, like, I'm not used to hair being like up here. So it's hard because I'll get like eyeliner in my hair, or I'll get like mascara in my hair. And like, working through that is kind of difficult. There we go. So I'm kind of starting to like put it in like a style. While I'm kind of just letting that sort of do the thing. Now last time I put like a ton of product in this thing, right? And when I did that, it just like, it did not work out. Like it was really, really stiff. It was really like nasty and heavy and I had to like, I couldn't really wear it. I had to like legit like drench it down just so I could wear it. And I kind of learned from that. I'm not gonna do that again. I don't know if I can reuse these or not. I don't even know. I don't think so, but I can try. I just need something to put my hair in. It's also like not a hair tie because I have like this big bump right here. So this is where like training your hair comes into like like useful. Because now we can have my hair just slick back like that where before it would all kind of fall. Now I just slick back my hair like this. I don't really like the stocking cap method, but I understand the importance of it, and I really, really, really don't want to ruin my hair because, you know, I'm too lazy to want to do this, so I don't really want to put all that stress on my hair. Not only that, but it kind of keeps my hair in order, so... I'm not gonna go like all in with the stocking cap method. I'm just gonna like do that. I'm sorry with a little bit of hairline showing because I tried it the other way and I didn't think it was that like realistic. It's probably slightly less realistic, honestly. But so I guess I'm gonna wait is just wait for this to kind of dry down a little bit so it gets like more sticky. If that makes any sense. This gets like super sticky. It gets stiff too. Like, like I have to legit like wash this out of my hair. Like I have to use this in the shower. It's crazy. Now this is where you use the stocking cap method. You'd usually just take the other stocking cap and just, you know, put that over your ears and stuff like that. Oh, this shit's sliding back. That's another thing that you have to, like, 
make sure that, you know, your shit's not sliding back. Because your hair just will bite it. And I learned that if you put anything over your ears, it's gonna be like hell. Like, don't do it. Like, don't. It's starting to feel sticky. I also tell you, like, don't put glue on, like, certain parts. Like, don't put glue up. Like, put glue on certain parts. But don't, like, put glue, like, right here, I guess. Not glue, but the spray this part of your forehead like really dry I found that I'm always like cleaning myself off during this process and like you want to put this thing on but like then they say just kind of like poke it it's weird so you put this thing on slide it back to where your hairline ought to be like about right there right so this part's kind of weird you like take a brush and you just start kind of poking it but what you're doing is you're poking like the hair, right? Like the lace. So you're not poking, you're not pressing the hair into the glue. That makes any sense. You're just kind of pressing, I can't see. Just kind of pressing this lace on. And then you have to like slowly by section, like get, like right here, yeah, just like get that little spot and then just press down like that and just press the lace in, like longer parts of like your tools. Yeah, like that. See, and you're just pressing it down. And I just, you work by sections, but like, they always tell you do not do this shit in a rush, and they are so right. Like, do not do any of this shit in a rush. Like, whatever event you're trying to make it to, like, you won't make it on time. This is a time-consuming process. Like, a late, like a lace front sleigh is, like, and I'm not even, like, fully tucked in the back. So I'm just like taking this little like, just like a little um thing that fasten it. I got a bigger size because I thought, you know, with my hair being longer, I would need a little bit more room. But I took measurements though. So I just kind of keep it sort of wrapped. I'm not good at baby hairs. Like I'm not. I try to keep my hair very like, I don't know how I would keep it. I'm just gonna start looking at the lace. Okay. Cause you want the lace to be very like soft and transparent. So you have to start like spraying it down like really, really, really softly. Like super softly. I actually go with like my mirror with like a magnification, right? And I just like start going in that way. Oh my god, my coffee. And I just start carefully placing it where, you know, I think that my hairline would naturally sort of fall, you know? And I see like what's like lifting up. And I just slowly sort of start working down these edges. I think I should have glued my forehead a little bit nicer, honestly. It's like a weird thing because like you want to be sticky. Enough to, oh shit, but you don't want to, it's like almost my life, you don't want to like 
be so sticky to the point where you know you're messy either so it's like oh, these edges are still coming up holy shit and I'm spraying down hella product too maybe stocking cap in the front is a little bit easier but I don't want to like glue my hair in all on this I don't want stiff hair okay It's like, processes like this, it sucks because like you're ugly for like a really, really long time before you ever get any more beautiful, you know? And I would never suggest doing this with a full face of makeup on because like, you wanna make sure you can clean up all these like little edges and little tiny details. And you know, you wanna make sure that you're doing all this kind of stuff, right? So I wouldn't recommend like, you know, having any like lotion on or anything of that nature. No lotion, no, you know, moisturizer, or sunscreen or anything like that. I'm not gonna, I don't like it so straight I don't think I'm gonna wear her strict. I think I'm gonna wear it wavy because I feel like it's a little bit more natural and it's a little bit more modern. I feel like a straight bob. I feel like that does kind of look like a wig. But if you wear it like a little bit more like that, I feel like it looks more, I don't know, just soft and pretty and mermaid like. I'm just giving me a ton of my life, isn't it? You know, this is like... Trying this on camera is hard. Like, people who got this down to like a science and they do it on camera. Like, congratulations to those people because I don't know how they do it. I really, really don't. Like doing like a normal makeup tutorial must be really, really hard. But doing something like this while on camera, this is just difficult. They do it so well too. I don't think your hair is supposed to be showing like that. What do you do about this bumpiness? I feel like Herman Monster. Shit. I'm just gonna have to wrap that or something. How is this thing still doing that? Like shit, stay the fuck down. Stay down. It's like I always go in like super light handed and pretty and then I get to this point where I'm just like fuck this Like Get out of here with that It's just I want this to lay down And it's always like that. It's like 
You train your wig, and then like, then you take it off, and then you have to like retrain it to like do everything you needed it to do in the first fucking place. It's ridiculous. So you can tell like I don't know how to do baby hairs because like they're huge and they're everywhere. But like my baby hairs aren't short though, so I'm just doing them how like mine are, which are mine are like long as hell. Okay, so I'm gonna just wrap her up really quick. So hold on. Okay, so this decision, I don't know, questionable, but I'm gonna add some bangs because I don't feel like this is looking too, too hot. And I think bangs would be really cute on this thing. So I thought about maybe adding some bangs. So I'm trying to see how much I wanna add. It's like a light bang though, you know? something to like maybe not have to worry so so much about you know the lace front and all that kind of shit so let's see how much bang I can make here okay let's do it to like here yeah, about here. Cute. Why is it separating right there? So it used to be separating like its whole life. I guess that's what's going on. So slanted. Oh my god. Just me making, you know, very questionable decisions. No big deal. I just wonder why it keeps separating like that. Oh my god, I just got all over my eye. Bro. I should put this like
There we go, just like a light little bang moment. I feel like bangs are like the best decision for this because like we don't have to deal with the baby hairs. I've always kind of thought that this wig would look a lot better with some with a nice little fringe. Honestly, like I've always thought that. Kind of like There we go. Okay, let me just get dressed now and let me also get these little, won't have like, you know, the blindness. off my glasses too. Okay. Okay. Be right back. Okay guys, this is the final result. So it's like a cute princessy looking icy bob. This lipstick is Jeffree Star Dirty Money. And I'm really happy with it. I feel like super fucking pretty. And I don't have to worry about any of the lace front. Haha. <laughs> Cause I would be fixated on it all day. Not only that, but I think I like my face a lot better with like a little bang. So essentially you saw me struggle bus for like at least probably two hours just to get this look so it is not instantaneous it takes a lot of fucking money to look this cheap it takes a lot of fucking time to look this cheap like seriously i'm so happy with the way i look i think i look so pretty this bang was like the right decision i always kind of felt it but like i was like okay let's do it I feel literally like money right now. Okay, it's worth the effort. It really is. I look like a minty ice queen right now. I'm so happy. So, yeah, I'm just gonna live like this. Huh. If you like what I just did, 
and he liked to see me struggle for like two hours. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. But I'm gonna bring more looks. You girls, I'm so sorry. I'm not so good at lace wig slaying. I'm practicing. I really am. It's just an art form. I'm getting better, I promise. But I am so happy with the way this came out. And yeah, I'm just going to uh, film a video actually like this because I like how I feel right now. So please subscribe to my channel. Please keep on watching, you know, no pressure. Just have fun with me. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Bye.